This is a chart for signed binary number system. Here you can see that all positive numbers have zero at the leftmost bit and um, negative numbers have ones in, in the um, yeah, at the leftmost bit. Yeah. Here you can see only sine two's complement has one representation of a zero. In sine one's complement, this is zero, and this could represent minus zero in one's complement. Okay. In sine magnitude also, this could represent zero, and this could represent negative zero. That is why sine magnitude and sine one's complement are not used in practical world. Only sine two's complement is used. If I ask you to convert, take the two's complement of zero. If I ask you to uh, take two's complement of zero, what would it be the two's complement? It would still be zero because there is no least significant one in the number, right? It would still be zero. So that is why zero has only one representation. But in one's complement, if we take one's complement of zero, all zero bits, it will be one, one, one. And if we take sine magnitude, the leftmost bit represents sine, and the magnitude is zero. So there are two representations of zeros in sine magnitude and sine one's complement. That is why this system is not used practically. Okay? And 16 binary numbers can be represented with, you have a question? No. Okay. Four bits. Sine magnitude in one's complement method, eight positive and eight negative values, including the positive and negative zeros. Two's complement method, eight positive numbers, including one zero, and eight negative numbers. Okay? So it can tell us, it can help us find what values we can represent in eight bit, four bit, 16 bit. Okay, so in four bits, you can say that we can represent values from minus eight to plus seven only in four bits. Okay? Generally, if we have been given n bit two's complement number, so suppose this is a num uh, binary number, we multiply it with the rising power of two, okay? So what are the smallest and largest value can be represented? So this is minus two to the power n minus one can be represented, but two to the power n minus one cannot. Positive two to the power n minus one cannot, okay? Why? Because you can see if you are representing a number, let me just copy this one first. And two to the power n minus one. Yeah. So here we say that this number can be represented, and this number we cannot represent. So if we have four bit values, okay, let's talk about four bit. So minus two to the power four minus one is equivalent to to the power three, which is minus eight, okay? And if we talk about this, two to the power three, which is eight, we cannot represent eight in four bits. Why? Because one, zero, 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 this represents minus eight. We cannot represent positive eight in four bits. In order to represent positive eight in four bits, we need to have an additional bit. Now it can, we can say that this is positive eight, okay? So generally, you can represent this value minus two to the power n minus one, but not two to the power n minus one, okay? So this is an, so here you can see, in number of four bits, minus eight is the smallest value that you can represent, and the largest value that you can represent is seven. Similarly, for eight bits, it's minus 128, positive is 127, and so on. Okay? Any question? So that was the question that you were asking, how many number of, uh, what value you can represent? 